In numbers 13 through 15, we're going to graph variations of graphs of absolute value of x when there is a translation of the graph. That's a mathematical word that means there is some sort of a shift, in this case, either upward or downward, or to the left or to the right. So this graph over here is what the graph of absolute value of x looks like. On one side, it looks like the graph of y equals x. On the other side, it looks like the graph of y equals negative x. So many people say it looks like the graph of a v. So when we have a graph and we start off with what we call the parent graph, this is the parent, the absolute value of x, and we add or subtract on the outside, on the outside I mean outside of the absolute value in this case, for example, number 13. And that is called a vertical shift. So it's a shift up or down depending on the sign. So in here, this negative one, this is a shift down by one. So you take the parent graph, which I have over here graphed for us already, and you shift everything down by one. So the important points, you can graph them down one. So you basically do the V, but you do it from negative one. You start your V there. So the blue graph is the graph of absolute value of X minus one. The red graph is y equals absolute value of x. So if it was plus 2, it would be up 2. Minus 3, it would be down 3, and so on. Number 14, the minus 2 is inside the absolute value. So when the change, the plus or the minus, is inside the absolute value, that is a horizontal shift. And it's the opposite of what the sign says. So this is, in fact, to the right, two, two units. So you go to the right, and you start your V there. So you go to the right, two, and then you would do the absolute value graph from there. Or you just say every point goes to the right, two. The important point is our vertex the lowest point here. If you just take that two units to the right and do your graph from there, that's the easy, the easiest way to do these graphs, the translation of these graphs. So the blue graph here is y equals absolute value of x minus two. That's this one. Okay, let's take a look at number 15. In number 15, if you first get y by itself, by subtracting 2 from both sides, then this is a combination of a vertical shift down 2 because of this minus 2 on the outside of the absolute value, and a horizontal shift right 1 because of this minus 1 inside the absolute value. So you go down 2, and you go to the right 1. So the vertex, instead of being here at the origin, has moved down 2 and to the right 1. Every point of the graph has moved down 2 and to the right 1. But this is one of the most important points. And then you can just do the absolute value graph from there, meaning your V from there. So. This is the right part of it, and then and then the left part of it. So 
So there's our graph of y equals absolute value of x minus 1 minus 2.